Drillers, welcome back to DIY Yolandi. My name is Yolandi and as you've read from the title, we are doing a basics to DIYing. So here are seven essentials that you need as a beginner DIY plus a bonus. So stick to the end of this video. So in this video, I'll be breaking down the items as follows. Usage, where to get the item, and most importantly, the average cost. So let's roll the intro and get into this video. one that you definitely need as a beginner DIYer is a measuring tape. A measuring tape is a flexible ruler used to measure size or distance. For any DIY project a measuring tape is very important. You can get a measuring tape at Galma, at Buco, at Build It, at Builders. So at your local hardware, you can definitely find it. But I found that at Galma, it is slightly cheaper. Um, I found that Galma hosts the top line range, uh, but they also have a variety of ranges there. Uh, and they are cheaper than uh, the ones you'd find at your local hardware. The difference is normally like a good 10, 20 Rand. But at Galma, the average cost for a measuring tape is around 60 to 70 Rand. Uh, so do get yourself a measuring tape. And the second item you need in your toolbox is a spirit level. A spirit level consists of, small, of a small glass tube containing alcohol or a similar liquid and an air bubble. The air bubble is what guides you if your DIY project is straight. This is essential for your DIY project, whether you're building a piece of furniture or you are wanting to hang up a photo frame on your wall and you want to ensure that it is leveled. You can find this at Galma Buco Build It and Builders and your local hardware stores. I have found that uh, the one that I have, the longer silver one that I've uh, that I have, I got that at Gelma and that was 70 Rand at the time. That was back in 2019. Prices have changed since so you'll know what. So uh, I'm not sure at the present moment how much it is, but I will put the current price as per their website on the screen. Next off, we have a hammer. I got this hammer uh, at game stores. Uh, I got it for hubby and I use it from time to time, uh, but I got it for him. Uh, that's not the point. The point is I got it at game stores and you guys can definitely you, you can definitely check it out from game. Uh, I've seen also good hammers um, at Buco. Uh, they have the Livingstone range, which is also a relatively affordable uh, range. And they go up to 90 to 100 bucks. Uh, so uh, do check them out. A hammer is a handheld tool that has a weighted head fixed to a long handle that is swung to deliver an impact to a small area of an object. Uh, a screwdriver set is the next item you need in your toolbox and uh, this set was also purchased at game uh, so do check out game Galma. I haven't seen have I, seen I have seen a screwdriver set at Galma. So also do check out Galma. I've also noticed that Galma is really branching out to DIYing and uh, providing power tools. So uh, I see that uh, from their uh, Instagram page and their website, they are expanding their uh, offering. So definitely check out Galma. They do have a screwdriver set and I'm sure it is affordable. I will put the price on the screen. A screwdriver set is key because a screwdriver set has both flathead and star screwdriver sets 
and these are ideal when you're wanting to screw in a nail or a screw onto your wall or onto any surface next up you need sandpaper okay I know I always preach about getting yourself a sander I still strongly believe uh, that I still fully an advocate for that but in the event that you're a beginner and you're not really comfortable in investing in a power tool like a sander at the present moment I would definitely say go get yourself sanding grits sandpaper is used to smooth out surfaces the abrasion of each sandpaper varies depending on how smooth or rough or coarse you want your surface to be get from your local hardware i know galma has them in rolls uh buco also ha has them in rolls and these are affordable uh because they sell them in, in in thick rolls and you can get a lot out of those rolls and the prices are, are relatively around 20 uh to 30 rand some even less depending on when you go when they've got specials and things like that so definitely get yourself sandpaper sheet listen the way i'm advertising galma here you would swear that this video is sponsored by them this video is not sponsored so i just think you know galma if you're watching this or anyone from galma is watching this um uh we can talk we can have a conversation uh and you can sponsor uh, your girl my contact details are down in the description box below thank you very much what you need in your in your uh, toolbox is definitely masking tape a masking tape is a lightly adhesive it's easy to tear it's a paper tape that can be smoothly applied and removed without leaving marks or damage it's traditionally known as painter's tape. Masking tape comes in a variety of widths and designs for use in painting or to mask off areas that should not be painted. As a beginner DIY, you cannot go without masking tape. The beautiful thing with masking tape is that uh, you can use it to mark off where you are to draw or where you, where you don't want paint to go on and things like that. It is uh, an essential uh, item. I know it's just a roll. It's a very essential roll. I use it a lot. So definitely get yourself masking tape. And once again, you can get it from Calm. <laughs> Ah, this video really had to be sponsored by Gelma. Gelma, run me my check. Okay. Um, Buco also has good prices, masking tapes. Uh, I, I would, as I always say, guys, always compare prices from places because if you just go into one hardware and go and select all these items from there, you will actually find that you, you, you your cut will, will actually increase drastically so rather compare three places and then go with the place that's got the the the, the prices that are more within your budget so that you can um excuse me uh so that you can not not overspend because remember as a beginner you don't want to overwhelm your pocket because you are just only starting out in this you know and then obviously as time goes you will obviously invest in in better and, and greater equipment um in, in better and, and, and good quality stuff but as a beginner definitely uh be very sensitive with your budget then something you definitely need as a beginner DIYer is a cordless drill. A drill is a tool used for making round holes or driving fasteners. It is fitted with a bit and it's secured by a chuck. Some drills also include a hammer function for drilling through concrete. <sighs> okay, some may 
argue you don't necessarily need a cordless job but if you live in south africa i would urge you to get yourself a cordless job because the way load shedding is set up girl you're gonna hate yourself for not getting a cordless drum so let me plug you take a lot buco and game i know that they constantly run specials uh when it comes to power tools uh they even run the the full set um specials so definitely be on the lookout uh, for good deals from your local buco uh from take a lot and from game uh, because I have found that they are the best people to purchase from when looking for a good deal on a power tool like a cordless drill. And as promised in the beginning of this video, here's a bonus just for you for getting this far in this video. Safety items are key. I always preach this, I always talk about it, I'm sure you guys are tired but i will not stop until the point come across safety is key get yourself safety gloves uh, these ensure that you protect your gentle soft hands maintain the softness honey we are women at the end of the day we still want to have soft gentle hands and then um your eyes your goggles come in very handy for that and your respirator so uh if you would like more details on safety tips click the link down in the description box where i take you through a reel that i did on my instagram where i went into detail when it comes to safety uh tips when it comes to diying Power tools should not scare you as a woman or even as a beginner DIYer. Uh, I would definitely urge you to get DIYing. It is fun. Practice makes improvement and um, don't allow yourself to be intimidated by these things, you know? <laughs> Comment down below if you would like a tutorial on how to use all these items that I've mentioned here and I will do a video. So comment down below, tutorial please Yolandi, and I will bring you a tutorial. Give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget, power tools have no gender. See you next time. Peace. Here are some bloopers. Baby, why are you sitting here, my love? Why are you sitting here to, show, to distract show, me? I'll show Chankele now. I'm not going to make a book. Yeah, but we are us, Sanjay. Next off, next off, we have a hammer. Uh, I got this hammer for my hubby. <laughs> uh, but at Gelma. By Ed Gelman. Angela, yes, she's a cover of your lap. If you never want to meet your baby, you know, cab. Shape production. My brand is a cocaine and I'm a million men. I bet there's a one bear whole bulla mati in the background. You will beg a good cost and will be costing any cankers. I will whole bull and fails. As your destruction, can you go to the bedroom, sir? So like in Ghana, to your bedroom, to your bedroom, to believe.